Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I organize my glove compartment in my car. So in the last video, I did do a product review on a waste bin that goes in your vehicle. So I wanted to stay in the realm of the vehicle and show you other ways you can organize other parts of your vehicle. So with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, let's go to my car, come on. Hello guys, so we are in my car. So now let's go ahead and check out my glove compartment. All right, so in my glove compartment, I have this folder, button folder, I'm not sure what the name is. I have this, which I will show you guys what's in it. And then of course, I have my manual, which I usually just keep in there. So let me go ahead and talk about this first. This is where I keep all of my documents, all of my car documents, whether it's for tires, it's for just car maintenance, whatever it is, registration, insurance, everything is in here. So let me go ahead and open it for you guys. So as you can see, I have different tabs for each of the documents that are in here. So I have one for my insurance card, which is where I put my insurance information. Um, I can easily use the app, but I like to print it out just because I just always wanna make sure that I have it with me. Next, I have a section, let's see if I get closer, for registration. And that's where I keep all of my registration information, all of the documents in there. And then of course I have one for the dealership. So these are like all the maintenance that I've done in this car from the time I got it. So this is what, four years now? I can, I could probably go through it and take it out, but I don't know, I kinda keep it in just, just in case. I have my tire stuff because I've gone and gotten new tires or gotten my tires rotated, whatever it is. So I um, do have my tire stuff in here as well. Oh, slippery. I have cash. I have, what, $23 in here? I always have cash in here. And I don't have my cash. I, I at least have $20 in here. And then I have a miscellaneous items where I have, right now I just have like the, the, um, the stickers for the for each tab I have them in here but I'll probably put like I don't know just different things that I that just don't have a category but I want them to be in the glove compartment so yeah I'm just someone who loves everything to be easily accessible so that goes for my car if I ever get stopped I like to have my registration available my insurance cards available just everything that I need so I don't have to be scrummaging around in my glove compartment looking for them. That's why it's important for me to have a space that's organized because I wanna do things quickly without hassle so that I'm not freaking out or having an anxiety attack when I can't find anything. So that's kind of my thing. That's why I keep my space organized and that's why I also kind of help people like you get organized. So yeah. So now I'm moving on to the next thing you saw in here which is this bad boy. So this was my boyfriend's travel kit or travel bag. And I took it from him because I needed something that can hold all of the items that I find to be important for my car, in my car, and just items I like to just have near me whenever I need them. So I went around the house and I found this and I took it from him and it is labeled. So he got this at his school when he was getting his masters and um that's why it's branded typically i would prefer this to be you know black or not here but whatever i'm using what i have in the home and that's why i chose this so the reason why i also chose it because is because it's flat so there is no there's not a lot of structure in this so it can conform to a lot of spaces and that's what i needed and it could fit in the glove compartment perfectly so yeah that's what this is let me go ahead and open it for you it's literally what it is it looks like it's a travel bag so this is pretty much it and there is something in every pocket 
so I'll go through it. Oh, okay. So let me close this. Ugh. Look at my shoes, guys. I got these shoes at Bucky's, by the way, and I love them. But anywho, so we can stop. We can start with the top portion. So I have a tape measure, which I always have tape measures with me because I'm a professional organizer and that's just what we, we do. I have one in here, I have one in my purse, I have one in my office, I have them everywhere. That's important to me just in case for whatever reason I forgot one, I have it here. So then next I have a flashlight, which I think having a flashlight is important in any car because you just never know when you need a flashlight. It may be, you may be stranded somewhere, it may be dark and you need a flashlight to help you see in the dark. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really, I've showed this flashlight before in my trunk organizing um, video. So yeah, it's just, it's a great flashlight. It's compact, which I love. And yeah, it fits in there perfectly. And then I have a notepad for, you know, just in case I need to write something down. Um, I don't know, I, I always have some type of paper with me. So yeah, I just keep one of those in there, just really easy. And then down here is where I keep more stuff. So I have tissue in here, which you always need tissue. I just refill it whenever I need to. In here, you can't really see, but I have extra batteries. Let me see if I can grab that for you. So because I have the flashlight, I need extra batteries. So I just throw them in here so that I always have extra batteries just in case the flashlight goes out. And then after that, I have chapstick. So I have chapstick in here because I always need chapstick. And one thing that I'm afraid of is not having chapstick with me and having dry lips. So even though I carry chapstick in my purse, I always have chapstick in my car. Yeah, it's just this weird thing. And yeah, it may melt, but hey, once it melts, it's still there. It's still there, it's in the cap, whatever. I always have chapstick with me. And then after that, I have a pen and I have a, well, I have a pen and then I have a pencil. I think it's just important to always have something to write with in your car, in your purse. And just in case this goes out, you have your pencil. And then next to that, I have sanitizer, which I, this is a sanitizer that I don't care to use because of scent. Just in case I don't have sanitizer with me, I have sanitizer in here. And you don't necessarily have to use this or a travel bag to hold all of your items. You can use Ziploc bags, which are inexpensive. You can use pouches. We have pouches everywhere in our homes. So you can use pouches. You can basically use anything that just has compartments or that has a zipper. You don't have to have everything separated. You can literally just have a pouch where you have all these items in. So yeah, guys, that's it. This is my glove compartment. This is how I organize it so that everything is easily accessible and so that everything is just here and organized and I don't have to worry about losing anything or looking for things or wasting time to look for things. It's literally at my fingertips. So let me know in the comment section below if you organize your glove compartment. And if not, would you consider organizing your glove compartment? Let me know. <laughs> All right, you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.